It's Tuesday. We've got a new update in Red Dead, a new drip feed update. Uh, I was pleased. I was up way too late last night because Harriet's got some new content, so it's nice that we have, like, snuck in new content for Tuesday. I'm going to get to a review of it at the end. I'm just going to do a quick read-through just in case. I mean, it's already 5 p.m., so you know it, but this is more about my reaction than it is about news. Um, here we go. So, uh, today is the 8th, so we are a day after the close of the Naturalist Photography Competition, so I went into this hoping we'd get a nod to that, and we totally didn't. But So there's the new Shadow Buck, if you haven't seen it already, so that's the new uh, hunting mission that Harriet gives you. So, it's not bad, bit of a goose chase, very similar to the others, but at least it's a new animal, sort of. I saw a lot of uh, feedback on Twitter and other places that was kind of annoyed with the fact that it was a buck, like another animal that we've already had, but I guess they kind of want to do one version in the missions and then one or two wild versions out there as well, so so be it. Um, rumors abound in Ansberg about the mysterious shadow buck, i.e. new mission sighting. There's the new Vitalism Studies pamphlet, which I showed, or is a video already up on my channel, which allows you to collect the new plants that Harriet has, and there's a new hardcore series. Uh, I think there's a payment bonus out on it. If you get the shadow buck, you can get a free bandolier. If you get it sample, you get a bunch of sedative ammo and other benefits, so that's not too bad. Um, there's an ad for Gus's store, but really you're going to bring him the skin just for the jacket anyways, but it's cool to give you a free bandolier. Uh, Vitalism Studies, if you rank 5 and above, you can use this pamphlet that'll let you access flowers, flowers that are already on the Gene Rope Key map, so it's literally like just arbitrary fetch quests to eventually get into an animal experience that I'm just now uploading right now onto my YouTube channel, but uh, there's a new Hardcore Takeover series, there's some discounts on repeaters, outfits, offhand holsters and, holsters and gun belts, and the same Twitch promo stuff we've seen. Uh, gaming before September 14th, you'll get a free... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's Prime stuff, I don't even care about that. So, no news today. No news today whatsoever on the photography role. Uh, not, not, or not the photography role, but on the naturalist photo competition. I imagine they're still compiling the results and going through them, and God knows there was a lot, so we're going to take a quick peek in, and we'll see who I think the winners are going to be. I won't take this too long, or I won't make this as long as last time, and then I'll just tell you what I think of the, uh, the content today so far. Uh, I think it's going to be like Asmon, Corn to Cob, and there was one other person. Uh, I'm surprised that the flame photo is not even topping out, but yeah, Ready Naturalists, Heartlands, and Angry Beaver. Uh, to my to my unbelievable karmic turnaround, it seems as though Angry Beaver is going to be the winner, and I, I shit on it the most. I I did like it. I think the Veni V Di Vici, or I'm, oh God only knows, uh, has got a lot of great photos. Uh, I, at least Corn to Cob's Lightning Lantern pick isn't leading anymore, with no disrespect to Corn to Cob, or Corna to Cob, I should say. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I, I have to say that, like, all, all in all, I was hoping to see some usurpers, some stuff coming up and bumping it. I shit on this Guarma one, too, and it blew up past all of my other photos as well, so uh, I can't even say anything. Uh, I've got a couple other videos up and about uh, all the photos that I saw and went over them, so I'm, I'm going to spare you this fate, but it's neat to see it. I want to go over what I've got uh, in terms of responses and people's responses to my photos, but I won't do that on film. Um, so here's the break. Uh, it's boring as fuck. It's really dumb. Like, you, you run all the way around the map to collect these fucking flowers, which is another thing that we already have. It, Harriet doesn't have a fucking pamphlet for them or a book for them, because there, there's that many of them. There's that many of them that have spawned already, but, like, it's still super weak. It's still super, super weak. I'm not, I'll spare you the Gene Rope Key Mac, but, like I said, the plants are on it. You collect five of them. You go out to, uh, like that long stretch, like, Hanging Dog Ranch, I can't even remember the area, but you activate it near a tree, and then you've got about, like, a like a player, like, a posse deathmatch-sized area where you can run around as a deer, and you have a couple of abilities, but, like, I can't... What gets to me, what frustrates me the most about this is that I just feel like it's... It's like you're 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 not even creating new content. It's like you're out of ideas. Like it's like you're desperately imitating other people. Like hackers did this. Hackers did this weeks ago. Like we had skeletons, we had people running around as animals, we had large scale animals. Like like it, when a AAA dev is doing less interesting stuff than just the general community around it, which is I mean often the case, sure, but like it's just it's hard. It's hard for me to keep watching Red Dead go in this direction. Like, yes, I played. Yes, I checked out the stuff. Yes, it's just a Tuesday drip feed. I know we've got the October update coming. I know they promised one other large update before the end of the year. I know people think it's going to be real estate. I don't think it is. I don't give a shit what Tez2 Fun says. Uh, like, it isn't even fucking peyote. 
right? Like everyone, everyone went so balls to the wall about ghost animals and taking over animals and like how we had all these leaks and everything else. And it's like, it's not even peyote. Like it's a brand new plant. We got more of like visual picture links than we did some of the alleged people we go to for leaks. But I digress. I'm getting off track. Uh, I think it's boring. I think it's really dumb. I think after you run around the map like an idiot, even if you didn't use a Gene Rokey map, which you absolutely should because there's so many of them, uh, when you get there and do it, it's like you're a deer. You're running around as a deer. Like it's not, it's not Wild West shit anymore. Like I, we, the Naturalist has is in my opinion one of the worst additions and the most regressive add-ons to a game that should be about like Wild West outlaws, cowboys and Indians and fucking the whole nine. Like I, uh, I, I just, I, I feel like. Rockstar's drunk at the wheel. I constantly question what's going on. It's like, you're like, no, no, they have a plan. They have a plan. They have a plan. And it's like, they come up with a plan that's bad, and they keep going in that direction. It, like, rather than making it so that you could have peyote around the map and become random animals, and everyone could already be having all these crazy new stuff, they're going to, like, drip feed the experience of farming and grinding to play as animals and not doing anything? Like, watch my video on it. You can't even leave the area around Hanging Dog Ranch. Like, I don't know that I'll do this again. I there's There was no benefit. There was no reward. The experience wasn't interesting. Like, uh, it's not even cowboyish. Like, I, I really feel like fundamentally they've, they've dropped the ball on this one. I know I'm being a whiner. Please enjoy it if you're enjoying it. You don't have to take me at heart value. Like, I'm just saying for me, I don't find it interesting. Like, I like I, I was intrigued by things that I thought would be available in this. And as I'm constantly finding out with Red Dead, it feels like the potential for the game. Like, what I like about the game, what I see, all the value in what I When I compare it to the single player, when I think about the quality things that I really love and enjoy about it, it's like up here like that's the potential like that's what it could be doing that's what it could be reaching it could be creating interesting systems of interactions between players it could have dynamic events and quests kind of uh, impromptu quests that happen in between players like you, you see a convoy going on a mission and rather than being like you can attack it or leave it alone maybe you can join right like it's 2020 like they instead of just doing glorified fetch quests over and over again that it's like get potatoes to like get your fries and then go get your cola and get your burger and then eat your meal and like we could do more interesting shit like the world could be happening and feel more vibrant and alive and I just what frustrates me is I feel like Red Dead has all this potential and all this great ideology behind it all these great mechanics all these wonderful things in the world, especially the single player world, and the online is just so devoid of those things. Like I, I like if you like, I don't know. I don't get it. I, like if you could go as a, a group, I guess, and become a bunch of deer or whatever, or if you could create a game mode, if they come out with a new game mode or whatever. But it just, I don't know. I, I think it's dumb. I, I think I think Harriet's really misguided. I think tranquilizer darts are stupid. I think like like photography of animals intertwine with the fact that you can't move with your camera or use your camera on horseback is just like there's so much in Red Dead that could be really good and fun if it was play tested by people that actually enjoyed gaming and were going to spend time there and I feel like all the play testing was done by people that were like yep it works problem solved and it's like no man like same with the f the photography thing like the only way you can delete in bulk is to go into your system settings like come on and then they put out a competition asking us to use the the features that they know are garbage and broken like you have this is the perfect example, okay? I'm going long here, but this is your competition. This is your naturalist photography competition, okay? You have thousands, if not dozens of thousands, if not maybe let's say hundreds of thousands of photos. And and who are your top ranked photos? What are the top votes? Less than 200, less than 150, less than fucking 120, less than 100. In your top fucking like nine photos, you don't even have more than 100. Like, I don't know if that's your social media management or what, but like, you can't even do social fucking media right! Your company sucks! Triple A my dick! Fuck you, Rockstar, you're so bad. I can't believe it. I know I'm being a salt lord, but I just can't even, I can't, I can't stomach, I can't stomach arguing with people about how great this company is and it's like they make so much money and they do so little they don't care about our opinions they have their like their plan that they're going down and everyone's like no no you don't know what you're talking about they're going to do their plan and they're going to stick with it oh god i can't like like i, I can't show me all the content we're going to get a couple of days worth of content with like with the deer like i saw one on on reddit where a guy killed another guy but it's like you need two people to be there to make that happen it's ugh, i don't know i don't even see myself picking these things up in the backdrop like and having to pay gold are you gonna pay gold to become another animal like i'm rich as fuck and i don't want to spend that money i'm done and rant and rant i'm sorry bottom line bottom line i feel like red dead online i love it because of the potential i love it of the style i love the details it's a game that loves 
details, like the de like cocking the hammer of your pistol before you fire it, switching which holster, are you putting your weapon back in the right holster when you do it. Like, I love the minutia. I think some of it was misguided. I think dynamic horse testicles is one of those things where it's like, scientifically, mathematically, program-wise, it's incredible. It is a, a serious, fundamentally, like, impressive thing that you've done. From, like, the baseline of your world, you've created it so detailed, so, so technically savvy that the horse's nuts can shrink or grow based on the temperature. But I just think that was a huge waste of fucking time for a coder, because it's like, you could just make all the horses not have balls. It wouldn't be as weird. I wouldn't have to fucking talk about them. It wouldn't be a running gag about your game. And that energy could have been fucking devoted elsewhere. Like, your temperature system's also fucked half the time Anyways, like you're like, isn't it great to play an online game where you can dress your character how you want? By the way, uh, your temperature fucks you, your cores are fucking broken. If you take high end potions and you die, they fucking suck. It's all about creating this consumer, consumer, consumer fucking item base to make it feel annoying and tedious. And also, that's why we built our PvP system around it so you would consume and consume and consume and buy gold and buy money. I just. I wish more of Red Dead Online was trying to create a good experience because when you create a good experience, people come there and hang out and have a good time. And when they're having a good time, they'll spend money to improve the quality of it. And that's how you make money off of customization and property and real estate. And like what you're doing is not, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's just weird to me. Like it seems to me like everyone agrees they want robbery stuff. It seems to me the single player game already had robbery stuff. And finally, the third seems to me is that your company doesn't seem like it's trying to innovate or work that hard currently on content. So rather than then try to halfway create new bullshit, why don't you give us what we're asking for? In summation of summations, Red Dead Online, its potential through the ceiling, its actuality on the fucking bottom rung, the fucking scraping the bottom of the barrel in my mindset, and there's one clip that I think summarizes how I, how, how, why I feel I'm never going to be satisfied with this game. And pull in a circle of paper. This week, I hope we can finish our work on the letter A. Let me get this straight. We're behind the rest of our class, and we're going to catch up to them by going slower than they are? Cuckoo! You get the gist. I'm going to have to edit it now because my mic was on. I appreciate your time. I know this is running long. I won't take up any more of it. Uh... Today is a good day because we get more than just drip-fed clothing. It's a good day because we don't get nothing, but it's still a misstep, in my opinion, for Red Dead Online, and I'm angry about it because of all the other missteps and nothing days. I'm not trying to be a whiner and complainer. I want to be constructive, but I just think that's like, there's way more room for bug fixes. There's way more room for quality of life, like things like, like putting the fucking non- improve lasso away like there's a million things I could do I could do a video on 150 to 200 things that Rockstar could fucking fix with a couple of switches and it would be like oh my god wow this is I don't know it's frustrating it's frustrating to to love a game so much but fundamentally recognize that it's like it's it's unhealthy to devote your time and energy into it because it's never going to reach the potential you see for it like it's Everything is going to be like disappointment. Like it's going to, you're, you're going to be like, we studied so hard for a test, and no matter what you do, you always get a C. Like it's just disheartening. That's my thought. Please tell me your thoughts. Uh, if you're loving it, then I don't know. I'll eat my words. But I just feel like, how can you? Like, I, if you could become the buck and travel across the map and harass players, I'd be all about it. But not only on low server pop right now, there's an area that locks you out. Like it's just, it's not fun. It's not interesting. I don't know why it's in the game. That that's that's my takeaway. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry that this ran to where did this run to? I don't even know. Thirteen minutes, I can live with that. Thank you. Goodbye. Enjoy your day.